everyone, Seth Gardner. Yeah, right now I wanted to talk about, is, is, this is a topic that, uh, something I think about often that I think not a lot of people know about, but it's something that's true. It's so, so like, you go outside, you look up at the sun and you'll notice, you look at the color, it's not yellow anymore. Like it used to be, like growing up in the 90s, the sun, it used to it used to be yellow. It used to be, you always hear, oh, how, how yellow the sun was, like how we have this yellow sun and uh, other whatever galaxies, whatever, you have different color suns, like, like uh, and we have a yellow sun and that's a star. Well, I'm, I don't believe it's like that. I don't think the sun is a star, like a ball of gas, since I'm, I believe the earth is flat and everything, so I don't believe in outer space or galaxies. So I don't view it like that. I view it as just the sun as a bright light in the sky. But what I'm getting at is that it's a different color. If you look at the sun now, if you go outside and you, you say, oh, I have guard, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna do some sun gazing. You, you go outside to look at the sun and it's it's not yellow. It's uh, it's just this blinding, this blindingly bright, like colorless light now. And it didn't used to be like that. Like, so I'm 33 years old and I grew up in the nineties here in Chicago. And when I went outside as a kid, I was outside playing, playing around with my friends or whatever. And I see the sun, it was yellow back then. It was, it was bright and yellow. So I'm wondering, this occurred to me I forget how it occurred. I just started thinking about it. I was like, wondering, wait, this is, I don't think it was till like I was in my like late twenties or something that all of a sudden I realized, wait, wait a minute, why did the sun just change colors? Or it's not, it's not even a color anymore. It's just colorless or white, I guess. Or not, it's just like uh, clear. It's, it's this colorless bright light now. But back in the nineties, the sun, it used to be yellow and I don't know, maybe it has something to do with like the whole Mandela effect thing, like how things can change just for no reason, just because this world doesn't make any fucking sense. And yeah, there's all sorts of theory, like theories. What, what, why is that? What's the cause for the Mandela effect? Uh, yeah, I don't know. As a, as a Buddhist, it just, it kind of makes sense to me now, now since um, I've accepted that Buddhism is is legit, that it's it's true and like, so Buddhism, like, it teaches, like, well, yeah, this world is crazy. It doesn't make sense because it's like a dream you're having where, any, where, where crazy shit can just go down and um, whatever. A uh, glitch in the matrix type stuff where it's, it's something doesn't seem right or something changes. Like, because uh, that's basically what, yeah, Buddhism teaches. Like, uh, it's like the matrix, essentially. And yeah, I think that explains the sun. That's probably the most plausible explanation I can think of is that, yeah, it's just something that's changed. Why? It doesn't make any fucking sense, but that's because this whole world, if you can even call it a world, doesn't make sense. This isn't really even a world, it's a realm. Or it's not even anything, it's like a weird dream. You just snap out of it put and get to Nirvana or whatever, but like, yeah. You notice these things every now and then, like, I remember the last time I went to the a library, and uh, since, you know, I'm like world famous author and everything, I go to the library every now and then, and I, I go there, and it's a library I've been to many, many times, numerous times before, and I go up, I'm on the second floor, and all of a sudden I notice, I see someone walking up the staircase to the third floor. And it's this, this library I've been to before many, many, many times. And I'm, uh, it, it occurs to me, I'm like, wait a minute, a third floor? I don't ever remember this. I've been here a billion times. This library only has two floors. So I'm thinking, what's going on, F. Gardner? What's, what's up? And then it clicked to me, oh, this is one of those, some, yeah, one of the, some Mandela effect shit going on. And yeah, that's that's it. It's just weird things in your life can just change for no reason and make no fucking sense. Because that's what the Mandela effect is. And the best explanation that I can think of is that it's, yeah, it's because like the stuff it says in Buddhism, how this is all illusory and 
Yeah, it's like a, you have a, like I said, you have a weird dream or nightmare or whatever. Something w weird happens where you're like, well, what the fuck was that? And then, well, it's, it's a weird dream. Weird, weird shit can happen. So, yeah, that's what this world is. And that's, I think, probably what the Mandela effect. I used to hear all sorts, uh, I still do hear theories about what's going on. Like if people are changing reality with like magic rituals and uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't know if I've seen anything conclusive. Um, there's that one video I saw online about CERN where they're like, they're wearing uh, robes, uh, well, the people work in there. Oh, not a robe, like not a kimono, like F Gardner's wearing. Kimonos are okay. These guys are wearing uh, like, uh, I don't know, like, they look like sinister, like black robes, like like they're up to like a black magic, or evil ma magic. What and like they're doing some sort of like weird looking like ritual. And I'm thinking, whoa, whoa, what's what's going on? And, and I don't know. I've heard so I've heard people say that that maybe it has something to do <coughs> with CERN. I don't know. Uh, that I, I heard them say like. Uh, Cern's explanation was like, "Oh, that was that was a prank," and uh, I don't know why would they, why would they do that though? Like that's like, I mean, if, unless it was like people that broke into it, because that's why I thought at first like, "Oh, someone broke into Cern," and or d either it's real or someone broke into it, and like if someone broke into Cern, isn't that it's like breaking into like, uh, whatever, like the White House, or. Buckingham Palace or whatever, so it just doesn't seem possible. Like it's just the, their security would be too good, it'd be too too tight of security. So that and the idea of it being a prank, why would they do that? That's weird. Like when they realize people are gonna think they're doing some like black magic stuff, like um, they're I forget. It's been a while since I saw, I saw the video. They're wearing like black robes and I don't know if they had torches or something like that. And they're around the statue. Um, was it for I'm trying to remember? Was it was it Shiva? Shiva's a deva in like Hinduism. It's within Buddhism too. And I've heard people argue, well, it's like the the god of destruction. And I realize that's not like bad in the sense of like like how, for example, like Christianity, not just Christianity. Um, Abrahamic face, you have Satan, the devil, like, it's so, de even though Shiva's the god of destruction, it's like, well, destruction's part of life, so, whereas the Hindus, or Buddhists, in certain schools, you know, with, um, with the devas and everything, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be perceived as necessarily a bad thing, so, I don't know what to make of it, though, it's just strange, if it was a prank, I don't know why they would, why they would have been doing that uh, but so I, I don't know if I'm necessarily convinced about the CERN thing I think what makes sense to me as strange as the CERN thing is like I like maybe they are up to some things like maybe they have like a, a com supercomputer that can like mess with uh, the reality I don't know but like um, yeah what I do know Either that or it's all just like a uh, smoke and mirrors. Like it's like uh, they're doing that or like a smoke screen. Like they're trying to distract us. Like when they talk about all the scientific projects they have, maybe like it's all just like uh, bogus and they're trying to hide that the earth is, they don't want people to know the earth is flat. It's just one of those things like what, you know, NASA and all these other science companies do a lot of the time so maybe it's some just like that maybe it's just like a smoke screen to make it seem like they're they're really doing uh advanced scientific experiments like how was it cern they had the they had the particle accelerator or hadron collider or whatever where they're trying to like make miniature black holes or like try to make it so they can like recreate the conditions for the the Big Bang, but I don't, I don't believe the Big Bang or black holes even exist because, well, I don't think there's such a thing as outer space, so that doesn't make sense. Like, it plays into how I'm, 
I'm a flat earther and I'm a Buddhist, so I don't think, yeah, I don't, I don't, the experiments don't make any sense to me. So that makes me think like maybe this is just like uh, a smoke screen, smoke and mirrors, like it's all fake and it's just like a distraction to make us think they're really doing these uh, super scientific cutting edge projects and it's, it's really just them n not doing anything not doing anything or, or making the fake projects like work working on and that's not to say everybody at CERN is like oh they're all in on it they're all they're all in on it and and part of a this conspiracy probably just the average worker doesn't know it's, it's like if you had I don't know fraud or whatever at a huge company like not the average guy would know so the same reason it, like NASA not the average employee is going to know about it it's just like all the all people at the, only the people at the very top, the tip top of everything. Um, like, like I said, like if you had a company that is doing some sort of serious, whatever fraud or whatever, unethical or illegal, whatever business things, the average employee wouldn't know about that. Like it would just be the top level executives, CEOs, presidents of the whatever companies or organizations like they're the only ones that would know about stuff like that so yeah i think the best to me right now i think the best explanation is like uh about the sun and other mandela effect stuff is that yeah this world just doesn't make any sense because it's not really happening that this is all fake like i'll tell people often like oh yeah his like uh this world is fake history is fake like it's like uh you can't believe you, you need to like figure out you need to realize like it, it's like you're having a dream like there's some parts that seem like it's true like conventionally true like 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 how you're watching me right now this is like conventionally real but not fundamentally like this is fake basically so this is just like a weird dream you're having but it's a like a coherent kind of dream sometimes so it seems real but it's not totally or it's not a fundamentally real it's not real at all it's a it's like a dream or a nightmare or whatever, however you want to look at it, like the Matrix or the Truman Show. So, yeah, that kind of thing. And so I think that's probably the most likely case with the, the sun, why it's just suddenly changed colors from uh, the, how the sun used to be yellow and now it's white or, or colorless. So, yeah, the more I think about it, it's, I, th I think is the most plausible conclusion. Yeah, I thought you guys would be curious or want to hear about this because uh, not a lot of people... We see the sun like every day, even if you, even if you're not like uh, somebody who sun gazes, or, like how there's people that will sun gaze and or people that will moon gaze. Um, <clears throat> so even if you're not, even if you don't do those, do those activities, you still go outside and like you'll see the sun in the corner of your eye or whatever and, like, every now and then, and you can tell what color it is, and it's 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 just white or colorless. It doesn't have a color anymore. So why is it? If it's always been like that, why would they have taught us in schools uh, that, oh, our sun is yellow. Yeah, you open the textbook, oh, we have a yellow sun. But you go outside, you could look at, you go outside right now, it's daytime, look at the sun, it's not yellow. And I don't know either that or, yeah, another idea or possibility that occurred to me is, okay, so... Like, you know how I said in Buddhist, right? So, like, in um, Buddhist cosmology, there is in some, like, in the older, like, Buddhist and, like, all the Vedic, too, cosmologies, like, when they, cos cosmology, when they talk about uh, where the earth, how the earth is, and then these different realms, like, it'll call it, it's a lot of the time it's called, like, in Buddhism, the, the triple world, or the triple earth, like, how there's different layers and everything, like, the land of the, Deva is the heavenly realm, and then the hell realm, and hungry ghost, and anyway, and the humans and animals. So, it talks about, like, how there's more land, and, yeah, I think there's land out there that we don't know about, like, uh, Atlantis, and it's, it's Terra Vista, Lemuria, stuff like that. So, I think that's it, that, or that might be part of it, where each like world system, not world system as in like universe, because there's no such thing as 
universe in the like modern science way like there's no such thing as outer space so it's just like but there's like separate bodies of continents that we don't know about like the secret continents that we're not allowed to travel to past like the flat earth ice walls the antarctic ice walls like there's more secret secret continents and everything past those and i think those might have separate suns and moons because that's how it is and if you look into like buddhist cosmology and vedic cosmology is like each system has like its own sun and moon so i don't know maybe our sun switched places with another sun at some point and yeah that probably sounds crazy or whatever but look into like these old the the cosmologies of the, of the whatever past uh it's not that it's irrelevant it's just people stop believing in it and they a lot of people because they think uh they believe in like a lot of modern science, but a lot of modern science just kind of makes shit up and isn't true. The vast majority of it. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so that could be maybe the sun just kind of switched places with um, one of the other suns. Because it's something I've noticed that the sun and the moon and the stars, like they move. Like if you ever look at it through a telescope at the stars, you can see them like twinkle. And there's all the, there's a lot of these like, like bullshit scientific explanations for why that that is but it's clearly because they're moving if you look at it you'll see like they'll wiggle back and forth so i th and sometimes you could even see like i remember one time i'm, I'm uh lying in bed i'm looking out the window and I, I i look at the moon and i could see the moon just kind of move a little bit it like moved behind the clouds and it, it was it wasn't the clouds moving because it was in the opposite direction the clouds are just kind of still then all of a sudden the moon just went like, like it just, it just kind of moved a little bit. So it's like every now and then you look at the moon and it'll just move. So I don't know. I've heard different theories on that. Like if the sun and the moon could be sentient or something, I, I don't know. I'm open to whatever is possible. Uh, if the sun and the moon could be sentient. Uh, they certainly can move. It's the sun and the moon that are in motion, not not the earth. This uh, since this is flat, yeah. So um, anyway, yeah. But provisionally, I think the best explanation, as far as I can discern, is that it's that yeah, the sun changed colors because basically this world just doesn't make sense. So that's why it used to be yellow, and now it's white. Because I mean, think like I said, I keep saying, why did why would they teach it that it's yellow? If every time we look at it, it's white, it, do, it doesn't make sense. Why does it not say in all the uh, his, or science books that it's uh, a white sun or a colorless sun, whatever? Like, it's always very specific. It says, no, it's a, we on, on planet Earth, we have a, we have a yellow sun in this uh, uh, galaxy or solar system, whatever. Um, so, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, the official explanations don't make sense to me. I think the sun probably just changed colors because this world doesn't make any sense because this this world isn't real. Nothing's, nothing here is real. Anyway, I hope you like this video. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.